it's inevitable that we all will move forward in life. I want to be clear about that. Life goes on. Time goes on. But who we are as that goes on is up to us. Okay, it's up to us. There's a lot of people who move. Everybody moves forward in life, but everybody doesn't move on with their life. I think we all know this. There's times in our life where we're still being controlled by something that's not a part of our life. Right. There's times in our life where we're 10 years, five years removed from something. That's something is still controlling how we feel. It's still controlling our emotional state. So I get this question all the time. Trent, how do I move on? How do I move on from this job? How do I move on from this dream? How do I move on from this relationship? How do I move on from this thing in my past? And so there's a lot of things that I dive in deep on how to do that. But I just want to give you this, because if you understand this, this could put you in a mindset of actually moving forward and moving on, should I say, with your life. A lot of us, we stay stuck in a time. We stay stuck in hope. We stay stuck in potential. We stay stuck in wishing things could go back to how they used to be. This is facts, y'all. When things happen in your life, you have one or two options. You can live the rest of your life wanting that thing back and stand there, even if that thing is moved on from you, that job is moved on from you, that person is moved on from you, that dream has moved on from you, and you can live the rest of your life hoping to get that back that might not never come back. Or you can take the initiative to say, you know what, I miss it, I wish I had it back, but you know what, I'm gonna move on with my life because I know the future has what I deserve. I know there's better in my future. I know I can become better in my future. I know I can grow in my future. I know I can become greater in my future. So you have to understand that. Don't stay stuck. And I want you to write these words down. I want you to hear me when I say this. Moving on. And some of you are part of the text message group, so you got this this morning. Moving on. This changed my life when I realized these words. Moving on isn't always about all right, what you're moving on to. It's always about what you're, I mean, my bad, I'm sorry. I'm butchering that. Moving on isn't always about knowing where you're going, okay? But it is, it has to be about knowing where you're no longer staying. A lot of people don't move forward in life because or move on with their life because they're like, I don't know what to do with my life. It's unknown. I don't know where I'm going. I don't know what's next. I don't know what's the next chapter. Maybe you don't know what's next. Maybe you don't know what your life holds in the future, but you have to know where you're not staying with your life. You have to know what you're no longer accepting. You have to know, okay, I cannot stay here. I cannot stay stuck in pain. I cannot stay stuck in hurt. I cannot stay stuck in regret. I cannot stay stuck in grief. Because if you stay stuck, that becomes you and that will be you for the rest of your life. You will settle for a life that wasn't meant for you to live. You will live in an emotional state that's not meant for you to live on and live in, should I say. So I want to reiterate this to you. Like, understand this truth, man, when it comes to moving on with your life. It's not always about, okay, knowing where you're going. I didn't know what I was going when I left football. When football left my life, I didn't know what was for my life. But I knew that I couldn't stay here anymore. I knew that I couldn't stay in this place because this was over. That's the reality. That this was done. And it was hard to accept. It was a hard pill to swallow. But I knew if I wanted to actually move on with my life and better my life and become something greater, then I had to know that I had to move forward despite where or if or how I was going to get there, where I was going. But a lot of us, we stay stuck in something we don't deserve. We stay stuck in the pain. We stay stuck in what we don't want, what we don't need, because we don't know where we're going. Okay. If you don't know where you're going, just tell yourself, I'm going somewhere better. Repeat that. I'm going somewhere better. Tell yourself that every morning. I'm going somewhere stronger. I'm going somewhere better. I'm going somewhere greater. I might not know exactly what that greater is, but I'm moving towards that. I might not know exactly what that better is, but I'm moving towards that. I might not know exactly what I want in my life and need in my life necessarily, but I know what I don't need. Get clear on that. That's the first step. You might not know what you need or who you need, but you got to know what you don't need. You got to know what you're no longer going to stay in or allow in your life anymore. But the problem that I see when it comes to this, when people ask, how do I move on 
Most people don't want to move on because they don't want to move into the unknown. I said this quote so many times in my journey. So many of us, including myself at a point, we would rather stay in a known pain, a known disappointment, a known hurt. We would rather stay in something that we know sucks, for better lack of words, than move into an unknown peace, an unknown strength, an unknown healing. We would rather stay in what we know. That's why a lot of us, we never move on with our life because we stay in what's familiar. We're so afraid as a human being of what's not familiar. Our brain literally keeps us safe because even though it's not safe for us to stay in that place, in our brain, we're telling ourselves that this is safe because I know the result of this. I know what I'm getting from this. This is familiar. And a lot of us, we would rather stay in what's familiar even if that familiar is terrible. Even if that familiar is, is painful. Even if that familiar is not what we need and doesn't serve our soul, we would rather stay in what's familiar than to move on to something that isn't guaranteed. But I'll tell you like this. Me, when my life changed, I made up my mind. I hope that you make up your mind. I told myself, listen, I would rather move towards what's not guaranteed than stay in something that I know is guaranteed. I know if I stay here, misery, huh, man, y'all ain't feeling me. Y'all ain't, y'all, y'all hearing me, but y'all ain't feeling me. If you're feeling me, drop a heart. Like y'all ain't, like, if you're feeling me, let me know. Cause this right here is life changing. It is so simple and it's so hard to do, but it's life changing. I would rather my life change when it came to my moving on journey, when I decided to move into something that wasn't guaranteed. This, what I'm doing right now, wasn't guaranteed. My healing wasn't guaranteed. My growth wasn't guaranteed. My change wasn't guaranteed. But I was willing to go on that journey because I would rather be move to, I would rather move towards something that's not guaranteed than stay in a guaranteed depression. If I would have kept my life there, I know depression was guaranteed. If I would have kept my life there, I know pain was guaranteed. If I would have kept my life there, I know maybe even suicide was guaranteed. If I already kept my life there, I know hurt was guaranteed. And that's where a lot of people are at. So if you're asking this question, how do I move on? Remember, it's not about always what you're moving on to. It's about what you're moving on from. It's not always about knowing where you're going. It's about knowing where you're not staying. Because when you take that journey and you really trust God will deliver for your life, God will deliver for your life. But some of us, we praying for God to remove the pain, but we keeping ourselves in pain. We praying for God to give us strength, but we keeping, we keeping ourselves in things that keep us in our struggle, right? We expecting to be healed when we stand in things that literally are keeping us from our healing. Whether that's a relationship, whether that's a dream you're moving on from, whether that's a addiction you're moving on from, whatever it may be, you want Move on from anything if you stay in the same pain that's causing it. And I know healing feels like hurting at first. I know change feels like hurting at first. I know things are uncomfortable, but I would rather move through uncomfort than stay in a comfortable pain. I would rather move through the uncomfort of change and growth than stay in something that is comfortable, even though it's not comfortable, but to stay in something that is comfortable, that's hurt, that's pain, that's stress, that's all of these things, man. So I just want to tell y'all that this morning. I don't want to take too much of your time, but I want you to understand this truth. When you ask, how do I move on? There's a lot of things that I talk about uh, in this program at rehabuniversity.com. A lot of things, this journey I take people on for a month. But whether you take that journey or not, the first thing that I would tell you is just to really think about what I said today. And I'll repeat it one more time for you. Okay, moving on isn't always about knowing where you're going. Don't let that unknown keep you stuck, keep you stagnant, keep you staying in something that you know is going to be a guaranteed hurt, pain, terrible life. It's not always about knowing where you're going, but it is always about knowing where you're not staying. It's knowing that I'm not going to be here no more. I don't know where I'm moving on to. I don't know where I'm going, but I know for damn sure I won't be here. I know for damn sure I'm not going to keep the same mindset I know for damn sure I'm not going to keep myself in something that's debilitating my life 
that's killing my mindset, that's killing my soul. I know for damn sure enough is enough that I won't be here. And when you make up your mind for that, when you really decide to say, listen, it's enough. And you decide to move forward, the journey will reveal what you need and you will free yourself. Because some of us, we don't even know where we're going. Not because we're not capable of knowing. It's because we're in something that has messed up our mind so much that we can't even think for ourselves. We're in something that has literally paralyzed us so much that we literally can't even think about living life without this thing, even though this thing is terrible. Like football paralyzed my mind. It was my identity. So who am I? Like, where can I move on to, Trent? Where can I move on to? Because this is all that I know. Like, what, th this is my identity. Like, what else is there for me? This is my life. What else is there for me? And as you see now, as I'm talking to you, because I'm talking to you with experience, y'all. I'm not talking for some motivation and just make you feel good. Y'all see what I'm in, what I'm in now. You see what I'm doing now. I would never be here if I didn't decide to tell myself and make a decision to say, I'm no longer staying here in my life. I wouldn't be who I am today. I wouldn't be the person I am today if I didn't make that decision. But a lot of us, we're afraid to decide. We're afraid to make a choice. And I get it. Decisions and choices are very scary. But if you don't make a decision or choice, then nothing will ever change in your life. Nothing will ever change in your life. And so... I get it. I know when your identity is wrapped around it so much, you live life with it so much, you don't know your life without it. And it makes you not even think that there's a world possible outside of the world that you're currently in. But I want to tell you, there's a world possible for you. There is something greater for you. There's something bigger for you. Like live your life the way it's supposed to be lived. Sometimes things are great for a season. Things are great for years. Things are great for a while. Sometimes things are meant to come into your life, but not stay in your life. I don't believe everything is meant to last forever. Some things are, but everything isn't meant to last forever. And when you can understand that and realize that, like, okay, cool, this is done. This is over. This is reached its expiration date, whatever it is. And I'm not just talking about relationships. I know a lot of people take moving on about relationships. I'm talking about life in general, holistically. It might be a job, it might be a purpose you're in, it might be a dream you're in, it might be whatever. But it comes to a point when it doesn't no longer serve you, you have to make a conscious decision and say, I'm moving on with my life. Not forward, because life is going to move you forward. I'm moving on with my life. I'm going to make sure that this thing doesn't control me anymore. I'm going to make sure this thing doesn't hold me back anymore. I'm going to make sure this thing doesn't dictate my future anymore. All right? Feel that, understand that, apply that in your life. Like I said in every single message, it all starts with you. And one last time that you guys get this, moving on isn't always about knowing where you're going, but it is always about knowing where you're no longer staying. It's rehab time. Let's get it. Go to Rehab University. If you want to dial with me at the beginning of October on an actual program and course where I'm walking you through it, okay? It's very limited, so but I'm walking you through this moving on process. Every single day for four weeks, we're walking through this process of moving on, right? You get me Zooms, and we're going to walk through it. So I don't want to talk too much about it on here, but if you're watching this, and this during this, obviously you're watching this now, but if you're watching this on replay later on, you know, make sure it's still available. But RehabUniversity.com, www.RehabUniversity.com, in a few weeks, we are starting the art of moving on, where I'm literally teaching you and showing you how to actually move on with your life. It's a four-week course, four-week program, better yet, four-week experience, but obviously, it takes six to 12 months to actually move on effectively from something, but I'm giving you the tools, and obviously, those tools can be useful or useless, depending on how you use it. All right, so if you say that's for you, go to RehabUniversity.com. But regardless if you go or not, I just gave y'all some information that I feel like can really change your life if you understand this. I appreciate y'all. I love y'all. You have a beautiful day. Let's get it straight up.